Hi students, I am Bhavan, your science master. Today I am going to talk to 6th standard students. Students, in the previous classes, we have talked about 4th chapter, what do animals eat and how do the animals track the food or trace the food, how do the animals find their food, what are the senses that are used by the animals in finding their food. You know, the sense organs of the animals or living things are involved in tracking the food but here only tracking the food is enough do you think no right tracking is different than the taking in the food okay once you track the food then you have to use your other body parts to take the food in okay students to take the food in we have to talk about different body parts which are involved in taking in the food in the last class, I have told you that we are going to talk about the body parts involved in taking in food. Okay, tracking the food is different from taking in food. Okay, in tracking the food, sense organs are used. But in taking the food, in taking in food, other body parts other than the sense organs are used. Like there may be hands, there may be, you know, uh, mouth, there may be teeth, there may be uh, claws, feet, etc. Okay, students. So, what are the body parts involved in taking in food that we are going to talk in this video, students? Okay, here uh, I will make a list of the animals and that we have to identify the body parts that which are involved in taking in food. Okay. That we are going to see in this video. Yeah. What is the lesson name? What do animals eat? So in this video, we have talked about. Tracking food, but to do this today's video, we are going to talk about Taking in food with the help of body parts. But in tracking food, what are the body parts used here? Sense organs are used. Okay. Tracking is different than taking in food. Okay. Here. Uh, I will make a table here I will make a table with a list of different animals and then we have to identify the body parts that are involved in taking in food taking in food with the help of body parts okay What is the name of activity? The body parts help in taking in food. Okay, students. Here we have to draw a table like this. Here first column serial number and in second column name of the animal and in third column body parts use or help in 
four. See students, this you have to do like a project work. This you have to do like a project work. Yeah. Serial number one. Ten. Two. Ko. Do. Fro. Snake. Man. Lizard. Vulture. Lawyer. And finally, hummingbird. Here yeah, there is no place. If it is not visible, please try to understand. Humming. Bird. So these are the names of the animals. We have to write the body parts used in taking it. Okay. Yeah. What are the body parts used in him? Beak and claws. Claws are something but if it is a leg of hen, uh, you can see these are claws. Okay, these are nothing but claws. Next, how it is used. How the hen uses this claws in scratching the ground. You know, hen scratches the ground and you know, but uh, hen scratches the ground and pecks the worms or grains present in the ground. Okay, so this is how the hen collects its food. Okay, next, cow, mouth. Okay, students. Cow uses its mouth in taking food. But cow doesn't use its legs and all. You know, it just walk on legs, but it doesn't uh, take help of legs in taking food. But only mouth is used. Okay. Only mouth is used by the cow in taking food. Next, in dog, yeah, legs and mouth and sharp teeth also. Sharp teeth present in its mouth. Next, frog. Long tongue, you know. Tongue. Of course, tongue is a sense organ, but tongue is also helping the frog in collecting the food. Okay? The frog doesn't use its legs or any other body part in collecting its food. We are talking only about collecting the food. Okay, not finding in food. Collecting and taking in food. Right? And snake. Wow. You know the snake also uses its uh, body to crawl first. But in, uh, in taking food, it uses 
seeds tongue and mouth right here is not also mouth and in human beings mouth and hands we don't involve our legs in taking food right we involve our body parts like hands in taking in food yes we pick the food with the, with the help of our hands and we take the food into our mouth with the help of hands so we can say mouth and hands and lizard here in your houses lizard roaming around the night you may not see that uh collecting its food by with the help of mouth and tongue and vulture sharp beak sharp beak and same like and claws lion Which part of its body help in taking in food? Yeah, same sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Lion uses sharp teeth in tearing the flesh of an animal. So sharp teeth present in its mouth, right? We can say mouth. Teeth present, sharp teeth present in mouth also. We can say. Next, we can say sharp claws. C L A W S claws. Sharp claws. Students, like this you can understand how lion collects its food. Next, last one, hummingbird. How does hummingbird collect its food? Hummingbird collects its food with the help of long beak. Long beak. Students, so if you are not able to understand the letters here, you please listen my voice and try to understand the letters there. Okay, right. This is how the animals find. Sorry, this is how the animals collect the food, and they use their body parts in taking in food. Okay.